can very easily just kind of flop out, or if we are floating in water and you can <laughs> swim out. All of the windows are also emergency exits. To open those, you just lift up on the silver bar and then push out on the window. If you take a look out the window though, you'll notice it's a good seven or eight foot drop, so I strongly recommend that you wait to be about the ninth or tenth person to jump out. Just to have a nice cushion to land on, otherwise it will hurt, okay? Now, eyes up front. Can everyone see this white line down here? Yes. You know, like where my arm is down here? Yes. Do not pass this line while my coach is in motion. Pretty much, if my coach is on and running, do not pass this line. They have a note right up here that says, for passenger safety, federal law prohibits operation of this bus while anyone is standing forward of the white line. What that means is if you pass this line while I'm driving, I have to stop immediately, which means if you're gonna go flying through my window, you might start bleeding, you might die, then I have to get my first aid kit out, then I have to do paperwork, it ruins my day, so don't do it, okay? And when we get to our different stops, let me be the first person to get out. I need to secure the coach. I'll get out, I'll put my steps to out, I'll put the chalks out, then I will stand outside the door in a ready position, ready to assist you off or catch you should you trip or fall. Please use the handrails. Use the handrails and watch your step. You should be good, but I will be there every time to assist you to get on and off the coach. Other than that, do you have any questions about the safety components of this coach? Perfect, okay. Now, have you had time, or by raise of hands, how many people are from out of town? <laughs> um, I too am from out of town. I'm not from Juneau. I'm not even from Alaska, though I am from another state that starts with the letter A. Go. Where do you think I'm from? Alabama. 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 No, I'm not from Alabama. Arizona. Yes, I am from Arizona. Do we have any Arizonians on board? Anyone ever been to Arizona? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. During the summertime. Yes. Yeah, you're crazy. I run away from there. I come up here to enjoy cooler summer. This right. is like my ninth, tenth summer up here as a driver guide, and I absolutely love it. Now, real quick, how many of you have explored downtown Juneau? How many of you are going to hopefully explore later today? Okay, I don't know when your all aboard time is, but just real quick, if I drop you off downtown or you're dropped off downtown, the shuttle to get back to your ship is off to the left, right here, underneath that white awning, underneath these um, cables. If you're anywhere downtown, look for those cables, come to this parking lot, and then the shuttle is right over there. They run every 10 or 15 minutes, it doesn't matter what they look like, if they're along that curve, it's a shuttle bus back to your ship and your ship alone. And uh, when is your, uh, when is your all aboard time? 8, 8. 8, okay, so the 8 or 8.30? 8, 30. 8, 30. 8, 30. 8, 30. 8, 30. 8, 30. 8, 30. 8, 30. 8, 30. 8, I don't know, honestly, I don't know what it is, but it's about, the last shuttle bus will be about 5 minutes before all aboard time, whatever that may be. All right, so we are here in the downtown area of Juneau, and I think, by raise of hands, how many people have been to Juneau before? Zero? Oh, no, one. How long ago? Four years. Four years? Do you remember a lot about Juneau? No. Perfect. No, mostly, I just want to know how much you remember, um, so I know what I can make up and you're not going to tell me out on it. So if I do say something that you know is completely false, sir, just go with it, okay? Perfect. All right. So here we are in the downtown area of Juneau. If you look straight ahead, you see a red and white building. This is the famous Red Dog Saloon. It has been around since mining times. It is quite historic and it is currently in its third original location. Manila Square. If you were to walk, you were to walk into the Red Dog, you're going to notice sawdust all over the floor. And they do that to kind of imitate the old time bars you feel. It's a really fun ambiance. Uh, they have Stand by, they're trying to rain. Don't go away.
I do want to point something out as we're going through this slide. Off to the right, you see a brown brick building with two flags on top. Yep. Okay, perfect. That is our state capitol building. We are in Juneau, which is the capital of Alaska. And that was our state capitol building. It has been voted for about 27 years in a row as the nation's ugliest capitol building. <laughs> yes, we win that prize, it is fantastic. Now, the next government building, off to the right, you're going to see a big, concrete, brown-looking building. This is our state office building. No, that was the Capitol building. This is our state office building, which we affectionately refer to as the SOB. Now, the next government building, this one is my favorite, off to the right, up on the hill, you're going to see a white house with white pillars. You'll see it now. Kind of a southern-style looking oh, house. Yeah. Never that. that is the governor's mansion. That is where the governor of Alaska lives and resides while they're in office or while they're serving a term. Can anyone tell me who the current, not the former, but the current governor of Alaska is? No. All right, his name is Mike Dunleavy. No one ever knows, no one ever cares, so let us move on. Uh, next thing, we're passing over a creek. If you look off to the right, you'll see Gold Creek. If you were to follow Gold Creek up into the mountains, eventually find where gold was first discovered. Now the quick history lesson goes like so. Joe Juno, Richard Harris. These two guys were sent up here to find gold. They were led by Chief Cowie of the Clinton Indians. He led them up that creek and showed them gold in the rivers. Historical records say that the gold they found was the size of peas and beans. So we're talking pretty good chunks of gold here. And that is what started the gold rush in 1881 and that is really why 